A question we get all the time is, well, how do I know my birds are sick? My answer is pretty simple. They'll tell you. Not in the literal sense, of course, but birds have unique ways of letting you know that something's amiss. One of the most reliable ways to tell if your birds are sick has to do with our least favorite thing about them. That's right, I'm here to give you the scoop on poop. Hi, I'm Alyssa from Southland Organics, where we provide natural solutions to natural problems for lawn, garden, and coop care. Learn more about these solutions at southlandorganics.com. Litter, droppings, feces, poop. Whatever you call it, we know it's no one's favorite thing to deal with. So a lot of the time, we just don't. We've spent a lot of time on this channel talking about the inputs for raising chickens, like feed, probiotics, and vitamins. But now it's time to cover the outputs and how it changes when your birds aren't at their best. For comparison's sake, let's review what droppings from a healthy bird look like. What we want to see is compact, tubular droppings that are tan to brown in color. Remember that if your birds are foraging, there may be a green tint too, which is completely normal. There should also be what we call a white cap. This is urates or uric acid that are a byproduct of protein metabolism. You want this thin layer to cover about a third to half of the surface of the droppings. Now that we've covered the basics, it'll be a little easier to notice what's abnormal. Abnormal droppings can be caused by illnesses, environmental factors, and even brooding. And it's important to be able to distinguish them. One of the most common and probably least concerning abnormalities is something called broody poop. When your hen starts to brood, she'll spend a little extra time in her nest. But, like the lady she is, she would never want to soil her nest. So she waits to go. You might notice things like large droppings with little or no white cap, soft stool, or excessive odor. All of this is completely normal if you have broody hens. Environmental conditions that can cause stress also cause changes in digestion. Things like excessive heat, long periods of rain, or intense cold are all good examples of this. If this is the case, it's important that you make changes to help your birds deal with those stressors and to keep them healthy. If it's too warm, increase airflow with fans. Too cold? Maybe add a heat lamp to your coop. Simple interventions can make a huge difference. Some kinds of poop can even give you early signs of specific infections. Take bloody diarrhea, for instance. This can be caused by anything that damages the inside of the intestines, like bacterial infections or worms but the most common is coccidiosis. Coxie is also a common reason for excessive mucus in the stool. Different causes of this may be more simple things like overeating or undereating. You may also see foamy poop, which can just mean that your hen ate a little too much protein that day. But if it persists for more than a day or changes in color compared to normal, this could indicate worms or bacterial infection, specifically salmonella. Salmonella associated feces is often also yellow tinted. If you're noticing feces with these characteristics, you may need to consider antibiotic intervention to get rid of the bacteria. In cases of mild upset and even some bacterial presence, probiotics like Hen Helper can be incredibly helpful in correcting chicken digestion. For clearing mucus accumulation, probiotics can be helpful as well. Apple cider vinegar supplements like South and Organics Motherload is also a great option. The most important thing for birds with any kind of diarrhea is hydration, hydration, hydration. I'll say it one more time, hydration. It's so important to provide plenty of clean drinking water as well as an electrolyte solution if possible to make sure that any fluid loss during the diarrhea episode is replaced as fast as possible. It's always important to recognize the ways that your birds are able to communicate with us. One simple and consistent way to tell how they're feeling is to pay attention to their poop which I'm sure that you're all very excited about. I hope that this scoop on poop gave you enough information to recognize the differences between healthy and unhealthy poop and react accordingly. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at success at southlandorganics.com, call 800-608-3755, or comment on this video. Keep up with us on social media at Southland Organics. Thanks for watching.